Good morning everyone. It is Thursday morning and it is day nine of my 30 day challenge, which I have to tell you I am loving every minute of. Really, really enjoying it. Thursdays and Fridays are my super busy days. Um, I only get a few hours in the morning before I have to head off to do school pickups. So I thought I'd better get this done first thing. Well, you know, after I've had my shower and all that stuff. Got the house set up and pack bag for this afternoon. Um, I always pack a treat for my grandchildren when I pick them up. Um, I pack, I make a little lolly bag and I use brown paper bags and draw a picture on the front for them. And in my mind, you know, I can picture exactly what I want to draw. But when I draw it, it looks just awful, like it's laughable. <laughs> it's so funny. I always think, oh yes, I know how to make that truck look like a truck or that whatever rabbit look like a rabbit but my goodness they look very strange when I draw them so anyway that's what I do and I do that on Thursdays and Fridays um, yeah so I've done all that and so here we are on day nine with little Miss Lottie again thank you so much for your comments it's so exciting to have them back I have no idea why they disappeared but a few people have said in their comments that it's been happening a bit in YouTube so maybe it wasn't anything to do with anything maybe it just randomly happened I like to think that let's hope it stays that way and that's the only one where I lose my comments because it's just so nice to talk to you and um, you know just to know you're there and and you feel like friends if there were no comments I don't even know if I'd make videos I suppose I would but it's not the same is it it's just not the same Anyway, um, so we are here today and she is pretending to be little Miss Rabbit. She's wearing a mayoral, a beautiful soft velour two-piece set. It's just the softest thing. It's in size two, two to four months, which is a new thing they've started in the last couple of years. It used to just be like newborn and one month and then zero to three, but now it's two to four, which is perfect for Lottie. Especially because, you know, our babies have, a lot of these kids have bent legs and so you need a bigger size pants to get over the bend. So I love them. I love this size on her. So let me describe this two-piece outfit to you. It is a, quite a thick, cosy velour. It's beautiful. It's in a winter white, sort of creamy colour, um, you know, just off-white, whatever you want to call that. And on the front, there's a kind of a, there's the outline of a rabbit. I don't know if you can see it. So there's the body, top of the head, and then the ears. You see that? And it's in a different sort of stuff. It's in a, it's sort of a brushed velour. So it's a little bit, it has a little bit of texture and it stands out from the background. Maybe it's even a tad bit lighter. And it's embroidered on. And then there's a, a grey and white striped um, bow with a little mayoral heart hanging from it. Very cute. And there's just an ordinary collar. I think, let me just see. I think it's a normal peaked collar. I don't, oh, oh, no, it's a, it's a Peter Pan collar. It's rounded. And then um, she's got the matching pants, which are just the, the off-white velour pants with beautiful, just lovely medium-sized grey spots all over them. So, so cute. And the feet are in, so her feet are cosy and warm. It's not the warmest day today. It's not cold, but it's medium. Mm, I don't know what it's meant to be. 20 degrees, whatever that is in your money. Um, yeah, so I guess it's about, I don't know. I don't know. I give up. Anyway, whatever it is, that's what it is. So she's dressed appropriately. And then I thought, shall I be really silly and go all out in the bunny world? So I've got these um, little bunny bonnets. I've actually got three. So Lottie could wear one and the twins could wear one. They could all wear them at the same time. I got three, I don't remember where from, maybe Etsy, I, I honestly can't remember now. So she's wearing her bunny hat, her bunny bonnet with long floppy ears, like a lop, you know, lop-eared bunny. So that, I thought that was really cute. I know it's a wee bit silly, but why not? We can do that with these dolls. And then, of course, she has to hold a bunny rabbit rattle as well, which you've seen before, but it's just so cute. And I thought, yes, Lottie, have that rattle. Um, I bought that from our local um, David Jones department store here um, when I saw it. I thought it was just too cute to leave behind. So she's got that. So that's what she's wearing today. And um, 
no progress with Tony. He is completely varnished now, which I'm very happy about. But the next thing I'm going to do is give him some eyelashes. I, I know I said I didn't think he could take them, but I'm going to try. I really want to see if I can do it. And then we'll be up to the hair. But once he's got his eyelashes, if, they, if I can do it, um, I will assemble him um, just in, in a blanket and, and bring him on to show you because he's just so beautiful. And I haven't shown you his gorgeous hands and feet yet, so I'd like you to see the whole of him. So I'll do that um, when I get him done, when I, you know, get the eyelashes done. But that won't be till the weekend because I, these, on Thursday and Friday morning, I always have a huge list of things in my head that I want to get done before I leave. But it never happens. I just, you know, I just can't do all the emails and the work things and um, doll work and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Phone calls, all the rest of it. I just never get it all done. Um, but anyway, doesn't matter. Sometimes I get to write emails when I'm sitting in the car waiting for the children, which is a real bonus to me. I love being able to do that. Um, because when I'm in the car, there's nothing really else I can do, whereas at home there's always so much to do. So, um, yeah, anyway, so that's my day today, I think. It's, it's, um, it's going to be raining, they said, like even two lots of thunderstorms, one in the morning and one in the afternoon, so hasn't happened here yet, although I can see there's some, my tree's a bit wet, so it has been raining overnight, it just hasn't rained since I got up, the, up this morning, I'm just waiting for it to hit, but anyway, that's just how things are at the moment, very wet and grey, which I'm not complaining about, I managed to get washing dry twice in that time, um, so I'm very, very pleased about that, and hopefully by next week, it might start to brighten up a bit. I might regret saying those words because as soon as that happens, it's probably going to get stinking hot. So mm, I think I already regret saying that. It's like you put a jinx on yourself, isn't it? Um, anyway, um, so yes, thank you everyone for, for visiting and also for your lovely comments. I'll um, see if I have time to answer any of them today. I think I answered a couple um, before I went to bed last night seem to remember answering a few yeah but I'll have a go do, doing some more today and um, hopefully this this video will have comments as well fingers crossed everybody um, is that all I wanted to say oh no I just wanted to, to let you know that my little son is calling in this morning as well because I've had a problem with um, I've got a spotlight on my shed that points sort of like over my veggie patch and also over the back garden so that if you're walking out in the back garden and it's dark it comes on it's very useful but the other night I think two nights ago it just stayed on all night it was a rainy windy night and it was just stuck on and I thought oh that's no good I don't want it stuck on I don't want to pay for all that electricity so I got in touch with my little boy and he's so he's going to come over and just turn it off for now I think what's happened is that in all the rain um, the avocado trees from next door that grow over my fence because they actually don't have any grass around them on their side it's all paved so all the roots are under my house where I've got grass oh, not my house under my side of the garden and and the trees grow over the fence um, onto my side they grow away from their house and onto my side because they're, they're planted you know right on the fence line virtually Anyway, it's very good at avocado time because we get to pick all the avocados because they're on my side. Um, so that's fine. But I think what's happened is one of the branches has, mm, I don't know if it's got super heavy or actually it's more than one branch. It's because um, of all the little side branches as well. And so I'm not sure if it's getting a little bit broken or if it's got super heavy or something, but it's leaning right over the veggie patch, which has a cover over it. Um, and also there's a, there's a branch exactly in front of the sensor and the sensor light. So I'm pretty sure that's what's been triggering it off. So just for now, I'll get my little boy to turn off that sensor light. And then as soon as the time comes or I think of it, we might have to cut the avocado back, which is a real shame. Think of all the avocados I'll miss out on. But anyway, so that might have to happen. Um, yeah. 
I mean, I think we originally put that up for two reasons. It was to make to light up the back garden and to try and keep possums off, off the veggie patch because they ate everything. So I'd plant little carrots and they'd eat all the beautiful fresh shoots and, oh, oh nightmare stuff. But, I mean, they can't help it. They're hungry and it's food for them. They don't know that I've planted things. But now I've got a proper cover over it. It's okay. Not that it's a veggie patch at the moment. It's just a weed patch. haven't really had the... I don't know what it is... I, you know, it's not so. I mean, you can always make time, can't you, to do extra jobs like that? But I just haven't for some unknown reason. Anyway, I have to attack it. And um, yeah, so we'll see. We'll get my little boy to turn that thing off and then address the avocado tree problem. Such a shame. Yeah, I don't want to cut it back really because it's it's a lovely thing. It's got beautiful dark green leaves. There are two of them. You need to have two so that they pollinate each other. Um, and they were planted by the original neighbours who were there when we bought this house 34 years ago, 35 years ago. Um, and they planted them. They were only little. But they grew and grew while James and Kim were still there before they sold their house. So they had three little girls. They were just married when we moved in. Then they had three little girls and my girls used to babysit for them. And in the meantime, the avocado trees grew and grew. And James and Kim always said that we could just help ourselves to avocados. So I just um, have kept doing that. But of course, now the trees are just over my side, not even on... There, there's very little um, growth on, on the other side, on the neighbour's side. Um, yeah. Because, you know, there's no grass around the roots. All the roots have grown under my... You know, under my grass, onto my side. And all the, the top canopies also over my side um, so I'm glad that I'm supporting the trees I really am and it would break my heart to have to chop it back just for the light to come on but you know it's kind of a safety thing for me it's not so much the possums as the safety thing because if I need to go out there when it's dark I actually can't walk um, when there's no light because I can't feel the ground under my left foot I have to see what I'm where I'm walking even just inside, I have to know where I'm walking. I have to see the ground because I don't feel anything. I don't get any um, feedback. You know, I don't get, can't feel the weight of my leg or anything. It's very weird. Well, it's not weird anymore. I'm used to it. It's more than 20 years now. But um, I have to be careful in the dark, especially outside because the ground isn't even. Um, not like inside. I kind of know all the, you know, every little nook and cranny of my house, obviously, and where there's bits of join in the, in the timber or, um, you know, something to, to watch out for. Um, but I still, you know, I can't, if I'm, I'm carrying something to get down just the, my two front steps, if I can't see the steps, I can't step down, so I have to make sure that whatever I carry is out of the way because um, it's too dangerous. I can't just step into oblivion. I have to see where I'm going. Anyway, that, that's a long story, but <laughs> sorry about that, everybody. But um, the moral of the tale is that my little boy is calling in sometime this morning just to flick that switch off for me. So that'll be good. All right, everybody. Sorry about that long, long story about nothing. But um, thank you so much for being with me and Lottie on day nine. We're very excited. And my favourite thing is... See you tomorrow. Love that. Absolutely love that thought. I'll see you all tomorrow, guys. Okay. Take care until then. Or take care all the time. But until then, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>